In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have created this bulb and when I click, it comes the first options, option one, where you can add your icon, the title and the detail text with some different color combination comes the second option, the third, on the right side comes the fourth, fifth and sixth. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert, click on the icons. In the icons type bulb. And I'm going to choose this particular bulb and click insert. Increase the size by holding the shift key. You can see here. And make sure to align center and align middle. Then I'm going to convert this to a shape. Just click and convert to a shape. And I'm going to delete this one line and move this upward a little bit. Then I'm going to fill this shape with any the same black color or some different color so first of all let me just go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle cover the whole of the top part only of the bulb you can see here send this to back and shape outline make it no outline then hold the shift key select this one the shape of the bulb so i have got two shapes selected then go to the merge shape and select the fragment and delete this one so you can see here we have got this shape which is filled now select both the shapes go to the shape format again merge shapes and click on union so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this so once this is done you can just give any color of your choice i'm going to give this color and for this i can give some light blue color all right now all of this i'm going to press ctrl g to group it again increase the size depending on the requirement i'm going to make this much size and then i'm going to select uh, go to the insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle which is this one you can see here the rectangle top corners rounded just drag this one maybe this much size and then hold this arrow key and just rotate it so it looks something like this and you can see the two orange point the left orange orange point just drag this inside so we end up getting a shape which looks like this again depending on the requirement how much size you need you can uh, increase or decrease that one again if you want this size to be reduced you can just reduce a little bit all right so now this particular shape i'm going to select and again increase or decrease and then i'm going to go one more rectangle which is the normal rectangle which is i'm going to uh, select and then i'm just going to add one rectangle here maybe at this point and i'm going to move this up all right so make sure that both are these are no outlines all right once this is done i'm going to duplicate this by holding the control shift key or you can press the control d also so i can just hold the control shift key i'm i'm going to drag this in the center and one more i'm going to drag in the bottom and then select this one press control d this one should be middle aligned with this and again press control d this should be a little bit up something like this all right so now we have these shapes now the next step is to connect these two shapes okay so we are going to do with the help of a free form shape so let me just zoom in a little bit so go to the insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose a free form shape just click the free form shape exactly at the top of this particular shape bring it here just click again one more time click click and click that's it again shape outline i'm going to make it no outline if there's any gap like this that one also we can right mouse click and we can adjust also all right that can also be done so 
let me just do it quickly for the rest of the objects i'm going to select the freeform again from here you can see here again no outline go at the bottom again insert shapes freeform and for this i'm going to start connecting this way all the way to the down let me just delete again let me just do it sometimes it will not work so we need to just redo it again you can see here this is how it looks now let's give the proper coloring so i'm going to choose this one and this and you can just give any light color here so maybe i'm going to choose a color which is uh, this one and then here i'm going to give somewhat darker color you can see here so for this and this i can choose any color for example i'm going to choose or uh, maybe a kind of uh, let's say a blue and here i'm going to give a darker blue here to give the depth all right and for this and this i'm going to give maybe kind of a light green and here i'm going to give a dark green and make sure that this is no outline so i end up getting a shape which looks like this one so i'm going to select this one and press ctrl g to group it select the second one press ctrl g and the third one press ctrl g to group it so we end up getting all these three groups now i'm going to select all these three groups press ctrl g to sorry ctrl d to duplicate you can see here ctrl g to make it group go to the shape format rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and exactly we have to put it here all right you can see here and then i'm going to select these all these options and send this to back now you can add one more uh, shape here i'm going to select this one press ctrl c click it outside ctrl v you can see here only have copied this shape fill for this i'm going to make it white same as background increase the size a little bit by holding the shift key and put it like this and then send this to back send back so you can see here we end up getting a shape which looks something like this so once this is done the next thing is we can add the icons and one more shape which we can do is we can add a either oval shape or the same bulb shape so let me just select this bulb shape press ctrl d to group it i'm going to reduce the size by holding the shift key you can see here and all of this shape i want to have a white color so i've just selected the white color reduce the size and put it here hold the control shift key bring it down again bring it down align it properly then i'm going to select all of these three hold the control shift key and move it to the right side all right so once this is done go to the insert click on the icons i'm going to choose the icon depending on the requirement so in this case i'm just going to choose some random icon so maybe one and two three maybe uh, four and then let me just choose quickly five and maybe uh, this one click insert move it aside reduce the font size to maybe 0.5 a small one and you can give any color later on you can just change the color right let me just give some a uh, kind of a, a blue color here i'm going to select this one put it here select this you can see here just align it properly and once this is done you can go to the insert text box add option one 
make it white font make it bold and put it here go to insert text box equals lorem within brackets i don't want this much large text so i'm going to just delete the unwanted text font to be white reduce the font size maybe to 12 and properly align it so this is my option and the detail text select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate move it down again ctrl d move it down ctrl d move towards the right side and this time i'm going to choose both a right align and shape format also align you have to make it right so this is the right align hold the control shift key drag it down and done so this is my option number two three let me just quickly do this one option number three and four five and six so you can see here we have completed the design if you want to add some shadow effect here or some light effect also that also can be done you can go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape if you want right mouse click edit point you can just edit the point like this also all right and then shape fill shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white then right mouse click go to the format shape under the effects go to the soft edges and increase the soft edges here so we are giving kind of a glow effect of this bulb so you can see here the design is ready and you can give some simple animation effects to it so before doing the animation make sure that this is all grouped you can see here i have made it all grouped here all right so let me just uh, go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the option one i'm going to give the animation which is more entrance effects go to the scroll down and select the stretch click ok and the stretch should happen from left sorry from right it looks something like this all right so now this is my option double click the animation painter click on the second option click on the third option then click on the fourth option the only thing is here on the right options we have to start from left all right so double click this one again sorry let me just double click this do this one and escape key so if i play it comes something like this you can see here 